Switzerland is a country I've made some of my most wonderful memories in. It's a country of stunning alpine mountains, charming lakeside towns, masterful chocolatiers that have been crafting their decadent delights for decades, and, of course, billionaires. And let me tell you, Swiss billionaires know how to have a good time. Switzerland is, in fact, one of the most wealthy countries in the world. As of late 2019, there were 438,000 millionaires living there, and with a population of only around 8.6 million. That means a large portion of their population is rolling in the dough. And even those that aren't millionaires in Switzerland aren't doing half bad. Just recently, the country voted to increase the minimum wage to the equivalent of $25 per hour. So, with a country that's this wealthy, how do the most wealthy fare? Today, we're going to take a look at the richest people in Switzerland. We'll discuss how they got their money, what they're doing with it, and and how they intend to spend it moving forward. Number 5. Hans-Jörg Wies Hans-Jörg Wies is the fifth wealthiest person in Switzerland. His current net worth is a staggering $6.1 billion, which can all be tied back to a company he founded. We'll dive into that a bit later, because Wies made his way through quite a few companies and industries before he found the billion-dollar one. Wies was born in Bern, the riverside capital nestled in the Swiss Alps. He received a degree in civil and structural engineering from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology Zurich. He then attended Harvard, where he received his MBA. From there, he worked in positions around the world in the textile industry, traveling everywhere from Pakistan to the Philippines to Turkey. Afterwards, he got a position working in the steel industry in Belgium. On the side, he sold airplanes. Yes, you heard that right, airplanes. He happened to sell one plane to one of the four scientists that co-founded Synthes, a European medical device manufacturer that made internal plates and screws for broken bones. Wanting a piece of that sweet, sweet medical money, we spent the next two years learning everything he could about the business. Then, in 1974, Weiss brought Synthes to the United States with the creation of the branch. You guessed it, Synthes USA. Weiss went on to become the CEO, and Synthes gradually grew to become the world's largest supplier of implants to mend bone fractures. In 2012, we Weiss orchestrated the sale of Synthes to Johnson & Johnson for $20.2 billion. As the largest shareholder, Weiss walked away with a pretty penny, directly contributing to his massive fortune of $6.1 billion. So what does he do with all that cold, hard cash? Well, mainly he gives it away to charity. In 1998, he founded the Weiss Foundation, which has donated more than $350 million to help preserve more than 20 million acres in the American West. And and another 5 million acres abroad. But why does some Swiss billionaire care so much about the American West? Well, because he lives in it. Weiss has maintained a long-term residence in Wilson, Wyoming, a town right beside Jackson. And if you haven't been over in Jackson, you might want to add it to your list. Weiss is very private about his life, so there aren't a lot of details about his residence there. However, the median cost of a home in Wilson is $1.28 million. If that gives you any indication of of what kind of homes can be found there. Wyoming may not seem like the most luxurious place upon initial glance, but it actually has the most millionaires per capita in the United States. He also owns a winery in Paso Robles, California, yet another stunning town. The vineyard spans over 2,000 acres, with 218 acres of wine grapes and 10 acres of walnuts. Number 4. Rahel Blocher Hans-Jörg Wies seems like a relatively nice man, wouldn't you say? However, However, there is one person that definitely doesn't think that, because he has beef with Hans-Jörg going years back. Christoph Blocher, another Swiss billionaire, is known as a conservative leader in Switzerland. And in case you hadn't already assumed, Wies is very left-leaning. However, Christoph actually isn't the next person on the list of the richest people in Switzerland. It's one of his daughters, Rahel Blocher. Rahel's net worth is a staggering $7.2 billion. And she owes all that to EMS Chemi, a high-performance plastic and specialty chemical company. EMS Chemi was founded back in 1936 and went through several changes throughout the following decades. Rahel's father, Christoph, began at EMS Chemi working part-time in the legal department. Within two years, he was the secretary general, and within the next few years, he owned the majority of the company's shares. Eventually, Blocher bought the company from the original owners, but details are hazy on how 
exactly that transpired. Some papers, like Togus on Zaga, alleged that his manager, Christoph, talked the owners into selling the company to a mysterious buyer, when the mysterious buyer was actually him. However, the next time the company changed hands, it wasn't quite as mysterious or complicated. In 2004, Christoph stepped down from the company when he took a position in the Swiss Federal Council. He split the shares between his four children, though only Rahel and Magdalena kept their shares. Rahel is the youngest of the children and serves as only a shareholder in the company. Instead of working for EMS Kemi, she heads her father's investment company, Robinvest. That all being said, there is one member of the family that is worth even more than Rahel. Number 3. Magdalena Martolu Blocher $7.3 billion Magdalena Martolu Blocher became the CEO of EMS Kemi in 2004 when her father stepped down. Despite having a much higher position than Rahel in the company, they own the same amount of shares. Magdalena is worth $7.3 billion compared to Rahel's $7.2 billion. Prior to being CEO of EMS Kemi, Magdalena served in high management positions at Johnson & Johnson and Ravella, a Swiss beverage company. Since taking over EMS Kemi, the company has flourished with new products and new product sites around the globe. As I'm sure you're aware, Switzerland likes to remain neutral and independent, and billionaires certainly like their independence and privacy. It's known that Magdalena lives with her family in Feldmühlen, Switzerland, but she's released very few details on her private life or how she likes to spend all that money. Number 2. Ernesto Bertarelli $8.2 billion The runner-up for the most wealthy person in Switzerland is none other than Ernesto Bertarelli, with a net worth of a whopping $8.2 billion. Bertarelli Bertarelli was born in Rome, but moved to Switzerland at the age of 12. He attended Babson College and then moved on to earn his MBA at Harvard Business School. As if having a Harvard degree wasn't enough, he had a bit of an in when it came to his career. His grandfather, Pietro, was the managing director of Serrano, a massive pharmaceutical company. His father, Fabio, later took over that role and went on to become CEO. In 1996, Ernesto took over the role as CEO and and in 1998, he and his sister Donna inherited the company after the passing of their father. And while Ernesto could have earned enough to live a pretty good life just by continuing to run the company as it had been for years, he decided a change was needed. He facilitated the company's transition from pharmaceutical goods to biotechnology, a transition that dramatically increased the value of his company. In 1996, the company's revenue was $809 million, but in 2006, their revenue was a whopping $2.8 billion. In 2007, the Bertinellis sold the company for $13.3 billion, a merger which resulted in the creation of Merck Serrano. So, what does Ernesto spend all his fortune on? Well, fortunately for us, he's a little better at sharing than some of the other billionaires on this list, and I mean that in more way than one. Ernesto and his family are big on philanthropy. The Bertinelli Foundation was founded in 1998 in honor of Fabio. The foundation mainly focuses on marine conservation and neuroscience. In addition to being a big fan of philanthropy, Ernesto is a huge fan of sailing. His super yacht, Vava 2, is a breathtaking vessel. The ship is approximately 315 feet long and costs a whopping $150 million to build. The yacht has a helicopter pad on the top deck, where it generally houses an Airbus H. 145 helicopter, which has a selling price of $8.5 million. The Vava 2 was a replacement for Ernesto's smaller yacht, which is now known as Vava 1. Number 1. Gianluigi and Raffaella Aponte, $8.7 billion. Finally, we've reached the richest person in Switzerland. Surely they must have made their billions in watchmaking, right? Or maybe their master chocolatiers? Well, surprisingly, the most wealthy person in Switzerland is is actually a couple, Raffaella and Juan Luigi Aponte, who have a net worth of $8.7 billion. Even more surprising, they made their fortune in the shipping industry, which may seem a bit odd for a country that isn't on the ocean, but stick with me here. Juan Luigi worked for years as a ship captain. He and his wife, Raffaella, entered the shipbuilding industry way back in the 1970s in Naples, Italy. They started with a single cargo ship that journeyed between Naples and Somalia. Over time, the business began
began to grow and grow and grow. And by the 1980s, the company, dubbed the Mediterranean Shipping Company, had ships going to every continent but South America and Antarctica. Today, the company operates in 155 countries and has a headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. In 2014, Juan Luigi stepped down from his role as CEO and his son Diego took over. There hasn't been much news on what Juan Luigi and Raffaella are doing with their billions, but if I had to guess, I'd say it probably involves some yachts in some beautiful locations. So, there you have it, the richest people in Switzerland. Who would you like to hang out with for a day? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip-pip-doodly-doo.